Yo, yo, yo. What's going on, everybody? You know who it is, the chosen one, Gabriel Skywalker from the DFS Club. Coming to you guys another NBA main slate video. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed my MLB video last night. Um, it's back to NBA, guys. I'm going to try to let's do since both sports are small slates. I'll do I'll do two videos tonight. Let's do it. You know, um, if you're new, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, leave me a comment down below. It really helps my channel out, guys, and I really, really appreciate it. Um, well, so hopefully you guys are having a great day, a great week, a great month. Spring is in the air. Summer's almost here. It's, things are looking beautiful, guys. Um, so let's see how the club did tonight. Let's go. Uh, baby on. Well, heartless, guys. What a, what a, you know, what a jerk. Uh, 347. That's exactly what I got, too. Nice job, baby. On Roscoe Pico train. Look at this 320 on DraftKings. Won 200 bucks. Came in ninth. Uh, Luke Kennard. Yeah, he did it, man. I can't believe it. McDaniels. I'm done playing that guy, man. Guys, shit. And Bede was a great call on the podcast. Westbrook, of course, is just an autoplay. We already know that's a walking triple double. Kim Birch. I didn't expect him to get a 30. He did, though. And then Christian Wood, man, he's so – I can never predict when that guy's going to do good. Vesevious got a 375 on Fandle. Very nice. Everybody got this Mo Heartless crap. Ugh, Mo Heartless, the bad guy. Hey, yo, got a 270, $125. Darren Fox, guys, is playing out of his gourd. On Fandle, he was the top scorer on the slate. Uh, and then low key, 305 won $583. Oh, that's what's up, man. Looks like it was a PJ Dozier day, huh? Wow, it's just such a big slate. It was just hard to keep up on every single player, like who was doing good, bad, or ugly. Um, so yeah, guys, you want to join the family, you want my lineups, my cheat sheets, the ownership projections, dfsclub.com, where you get not just one, not just two. But every single sport. Those of you that are trying to sell you a freaking package for one sport, you can tell them they can, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this one PG. All right. Um, you guys know I like to joke around, but sometimes I go a little overboard and then I, I watch rewatch it. I'm like, ah, I probably shouldn't have said that. Although it probably made a couple people laugh, but I know some people kind of cringe, and it's just like uh, you gotta be so careful about what you say nowadays. Um, you get every single sport, guys, NBA, NFL, MLB, PGA, NHL, tennis, NASCAR, soccer, eSports, MMA, WNBA, college sports, EuroLeague basketball. Click join now. And then click on my logo, Skywalker DFS. Real simple. And then the cheapest in the industry, not even close. One hour before lock, guys, we go into the members-only podcast where we dissect this slate. Um, we got prize picks, guys, you name it. Everything, lineups, cheat sheets, ownership, projections, and you got – how big is the community now? 400 and something people that got your back, so very tight-knit, guys. DFSclub.com. Come join us. Play some baseball, some basketball, some NHL. Whatever's going on, guys, we're playing it. Space is going to have um, WNBA when that starts back up. Um, so, yeah, let's go. I'm surprised how, how popular it is for fantasy. It's actually a pretty popular sport for fantasy sports. All right, so let's get into the slate. It's just a little uh, four gamer, so this shouldn't take long, guys. I'll bring out my sponsor, Draft Dashboard. It's only $1 for 30 days. Click on the link in the description below. You yourself can have Draft Dashboard, guys, where you get access to all my save lineups, all my watch players, the lineup optimizer, the player trends, who's training up, who's getting in the old prison pocket. Sleepers and studs, the position optimizer, and the NBA cheat sheet. Because if you can't win, cheat. Got the best studs, best mid tier, best value. This is draft dashboard, guys. I was talking to other guys that are in the industry, and they use an optimizer. Um, some of them are paying like $150 a month. I'm like, good night. Draft dashboard is way cheaper than that, guys. Come check it out. Cancel it anytime. Um, all right, so let's get into the slate. Pretty cut and dry. As long as I think, as long as you guys don't get too cute here, you should cash nicely, right? Um, Steph Curry, 10-6. He's playing like Russell Westbrook, right? 
Um, going up against Cleveland, the blowout is is could happen here. There is history against our guys. 51, 63, 69, 65. And it looks like that's what he's been doing lately, right? 69, 59, 53, 55, 50. But especially against Cleveland, guys, that's 460 burgers, 170 out of five games. Love that. You got to love that, guys. So, yeah, Steph Curry, definitely get him in there, 10-6. $100 more on FanDuel. Don't mind that. Darren Fox, too. Against Phoenix, this one could blow out also. Phoenix is very tough defensively. It's just Fox is playing on another level, 62, 50, 47, 55. My goodness. History against Phoenix, that last game, he must have got hurt or something. He got out 16, but a 45, 44, uh, maybe, maybe. Not a must play for me, guys. It's just Phoenix is so tough defensively, and this game could get out of hand, and then it's just a lose-lose, so. Uh, Trey Young, if he plays, this is a GBP play only for me against Milwaukee. He should play. He was supposed to play today, but I don't know. I'm tired. Of, I'm tired of, of trying to act like Miss Cleo or a psychic. You know what I'm saying? Trying to predict this shit because you cannot predict this 2021 NBA season. You just can't do it. So I'm, I'm going to stop trying, guys. Um, if Giannis is out, and Giannis is probably going to play too. But if he's out, you already know. Drew Holiday, 8-4. Not too bad. Uh, it's just the matchup's pretty good. It's just a steep price tag. You're not getting any deal on these uh, Milwaukee guys. Now, if Giannis is in, you can gladly fade all these other guys. They're priced way up. Bobby Portis, no way. Um, Chris Paul, CB3 against Sacramento. I don't mind this at all. He's in that 7K range on DraftKings. $100 more on FanDuel. Um, if this game stays close and you stack it, you're sitting pretty on a four-game slate. Against Sacramento, he's gotten a 30, 55, 36, 34, 41. So pretty safe play. CP3, get him in there. Um, I just don't like that Boston game, guys. Darius Garland, he's in play if <clears throat> excuse me. Let me something to drink. If Sexton is out. Cheers. If Sexton's out, you can run out with some Darius Garland. The Warriors don't play no defense against guards. Played a really fast pace, so he's on play at 6'6". You're not really getting a discount, though. Um, Dennis Schroeder is a really safe play at 6'3". 38, 32, 38. Gets mid-30s minutes a game, so very safe play there, Dennis Schroeder. Um, campaign, so if the game gets out of hand at 3'5". Look at this. He's getting 20 minutes a game as it is. 29, 21, and then a 33 in his last three. Last time against Sacramento, he got a 27. So I don't mind me some campaign in a four-game slate where there's zero to no value. And my members love playing this dude. They, they always have campaign in their lines. So I'm all right with the club on this one. And then if Trey Young's out, you got to play Brandon Goodwin, even at 4-5. He's $800 cheaper on FanDuel. Only if Trey Young is out. If Trey Young's in, nope. With Trey Young out, he's been playing 37 minutes a game. So I do like that. Uh, nope, let's not do Della Dova. All right, so let's go to shooting guard. All right. Devin Booker T, again, if you want to stack this game, it's fine. Um, could blow up, but if it stays close, you're probably going to be ahead of the field. I think Booker T and uh, CB3 are probably the lowest down payup options on the slate, so you can take a shot there. Middleton, only if Giannis is out at 8-3 is fine. Um, he's done pretty good against Atlanta's last two guys, 41 and a 44. So I do like that. Um, but God, if Giannis plays, he's in play, of course. Then you can just fade the rest of his teammates. But yeah, if he's not, if he is, you already know, don't play by Bogdan Bogdanovic at 7 2. That's way too much if Trey Young's going to be in there. But if he's not, Bogdanovic's been playing 40 minutes a game. So I do like that. All right, so let's keep trucking on. Let's go to small forward. Let's see here. Carl Bridges, I don't mind, especially when he's down to 5K. I love buying low here. He got one fantasy point last game, 20 minutes. Before that, 32 and 33 minutes, and then 25 fantasy points. So I do like the matchup against Sacramento. That's why I like Bridges. 36 the last time he played him. You get another 36 or 5K at low ownership. I can get me some of Call Bridges, guys. 
Get him in there. Nobody's going to be talking about him. Cam Johnson, too, 3.4K. 29, 23 minutes in his last two, 26, 25 fantasy points. Last time he had Sacramento, he got 27. So, again, on a slate, there's no real value. Cam Johnson, guys, not bad. You can get him in there. All these Suns bench players. Kent Bazemore's not bad at 4-9. You already know he's going to start. Um, once, he, if, once he gets past 5K, I can't do it. Can't do it. Unless, like, Steph Curry's out or something like that. But, yeah, that's the limit. I'll go 4-9. I'll probably get about 25, maybe 30 fantasy points if we're lucky. So, Bazemore's in play. And that's going to do it there. So, guys, winter's over. Spring is here. Everything is right in the world. So, don't you dare be sour. Let's go to power forward, guys, and feel the power. I know. I'm cheesy. If you're new, you'll you'll learn that very, very quickly. Let's go to power forward. I'm unlike anybody else on YouTube, guys. I try and put on a good show. I try. I don't want to be putting people to sleep. Uh, so we got Draymond Green, 7.1K, had another triple-double tonight. Great matchup against Cleveland. Look at his history against Cleveland, guys. 46, 49, 42 in his last three. Plays way better with Steph in there. Draymond at 7-1, still too cheap, guys. Get him in there. You're going to get someone for a triple-double at that price tag. I don't know how you don't. I was looking at Kevin Love at 6-2, but it's just like, ugh, they got they, they got so many players Cleveland does down there. It's just like, why risk it? Jay Crowder's fine at 4-4. Four, four. Um, coming off a bad game, right? 27 minutes, only 15 fantasy points. I just love the matchup against Sacramento. I might end up stacking that game the way it's looking, right? Let's go to center. All right, so DeAndre Eaton, I don't mind at 6-7. It's just DeAndre Eaton, right? He's really safe. He's really He'll get you 30 to 40 fantasy points. Safe. Four-game slate, maybe that's all you need is someone safe instead of getting too cute, like I said in the beginning. Think as long as you don't get too cute, you'll be fine. Do a nice balanced lineup, you guys. You should be good. DeAndre Ayton screams safe. Last time against Sacramento, let's look at his history, 37, 28, 36. So, I mean, he's been fine, 43, 35, 36, 37, 45 in his last five. As long as he's under 7K, love him on DraftKings, not so much on FanDuel. Um, we're going to run over Draymond Drummond. I mean, if you guys if you guys love pain, if you guys want to feel the pain, you can play Drummond. He, he probably This is the slate he probably goes off, right? Two bad games. I just don't like that he's only getting mid-20s minutes. I get why they're doing it, right? They're saving him for postseason shit, probably. But, yeah, guys, Drummond, they're not, they're not going to push him. Bobby Portis at 6'8". If Giannis is in, hell no. Uh, Robert Williams, his price has gone down to 5'8", and rightfully so. 30, 27, 26 in his last three. He gets mid-20s minutes. That's it. They cap him. Against the Lakers, don't mind it. Um, the only Boston player I like because his price tag is low now. He's 5'8". All you expect here is a 30, and you'll be happy. So, Robert Williams, guys, definitely in play here. Tristan Thompson at 4.1K. Just hope to God he gets to 20 fantasy points or more. And he's pretty safe, pretty safe. I'm playing about 21 to 27 minutes a game. Um, you know, it's Tristan Thompson. Right. And then Hassan Whiteside, I guess. I mean, a 3 4. No, Rashawn Holmes. He's already supposed to be out. So it's a risk. Here's where I say you get too cute, right? Look at these games before before today. Look at his minutes 10, 0, and 3 minutes. Rashawn Holmes left last game, and Whiteside still only got 3 minutes, guys. And it's a matchup against Phoenix. I don't know. If he starts, it's, it's a lock, right? If he doesn't, you got to think it's risky. Play your own risk. Same with Sarge, right? 3.3K. Only if you think it's going to blow out. I mean, he's fine for value. 17 to 18 minutes a game. And just hope the guy to get you at 20. 3.3K. And Damian Jones got the start tonight for Sacramento. He's mid-price. Bare minimal. So 15 to 20 fantasy points. As long as he gets that, you should be golden. So Damian Jones probably starts again. Him or Whiteside, either one, guys. I probably wouldn't play them together, but I'd probably pick one of them. 
I'm picking the guy who starts. So I think I might be Damian Jones, but I'm not an NBA coach, so I don't know this shit. All right. So let's go to the lineup optimizer. Let's put together a couple of lineups here. We'll do a DraftKings lineup and then a FanDuel lineup. All right. So first DK, I always start at center. So I don't mind the eight and play. I want to try and get at least one pay up, right? You would think. What if we stacked this game here? Let's go. Oh, Booker's already in the guard spot. I don't want to do that. So let's go. I want to put him here now. So we get Booker and Paul. Cam Johnson is fine. Uh, probably won't be able to get to Draymond, though. Let's see. It's so tough the night before, right? We don't know of any value. Let's get, let's, we'll, we'll get back to here. All right. So let's go back to guard. If I can still get Draymond in, yeah, I'd be happy. I'd be really happy. I don't want to put Goodwin in because let's go campaign. Let's go for a punt one here. All right, so now we can fit Draymond. Uh, do we want to take a chance with Drummond, though? I don't know, guys. I don't know. That, that's a rough one. I just think that. I really think that oh, – let's go Schroeder, Dennis Schroeder. He's safe. I just think that Trey's going to play, guys. And then for guard, we can go back for Harrison Barnes, Love, Heald, Gallo, Bridges, Bazemore. I'm going to go Bridges here. I have a lot of Phoenix, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have too many Phoenix players, actually. <laughs> that happens. You know, what are you going to do? Um, let's keep him. I guess we can get rid of Aiden. He's really safe, though, but we can go Drummond here. Oh, man, but it's Drummond. It's Drummond. Let's see. What else can we do? I keep landing on Kevin Love. Just, he's so cheap. All right, fuck it. And I said I didn't really like him, but for a sun stack, here's what I'm kind of looking at. This isn't bad. Chris Paul, Devin Booker, Cam Johnson, Draymond Green, Drummond, Cam Payne, Kevin Love, Dennis Schroeder. I don't mind that one. That one looks pretty good. Let's go to Fandle. Let me know tomorrow when that cash is, all right? Let me know. All right. Drummond's so cheap on Fandle, too. My God. Um... You can really punt with Damian Jones. I don't recommend it, though. Don't recommend it. Oh, my God. I guess Aiden to be safe, right? Got to be safe. And over here, we can still get to... Let's get Garland out of here. Let's see if I can get Steph Curry, Chris Paul, Devin Booker. Let's see if I can get all those guys. Middleton, no. Let's get uh, Bridges. Lou Will, no. Nope, nope, nope. So then we got to go up a little bit. I love just doing these on the fly with you guys. Wiggins, smart. God damn, this, this position is trash. Holy cow, guys. It, it's ugly. This is ugly. Shooting guard is ugly. Oh, my God. I guess we have to play Lou Will. Jesus. You guys is ugly on Fandle, man. Normally it's small forward, but today it's shooting guard. Jeez Louise, man. Killing me, Smalls. Um, this will work. And I get all the guys I want. I got Steph Curry, Chris Paul, Booker, Lou Will. Don't want Lou Will, but fuck, he ain't got no choice. Um, Bridges. Cam Johnson, Sarge, Green, Aiton. I don't mind this at all. I will say this for you guys and for my draft dashboard members. Let's go. Should be an easy slate, guys, to cash. Just don't get too cute and you'll be fine. My name's Gabriel Skywalker. Don't forget DFSclub.com. Come join the family. We'd love to have you guys. We have nothing but fun, win, lose, or draw. Um, and it's 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 the best place, guys. It's it's the DFS Disneyland. I'll just say that. Because we play everything, every freaking thing.
Um, and Draft Dashboard, my sponsor, is only $1 for 30 days. I'm going to say a prayer for all y'all. Then I got to start shooting the MLB videos. So tune into that too, guys. All right. God bless you. God bless your families. God bless the pets. Right, Schroeder was over there sleeping on the job again. That's two nights in a row. Let's get this bread. Don't take shit from nobody. I'm going to start, and FYI, I'm starting an Instagram for Schroeder. Just for Schroeder, he's going to have his own Instagram. So once I get that, I'll post it in the link below. So make sure you guys go follow, give Schroeder a follow over there and subscribe.